Welcome to the Let Me Stretch You Out Show Live. This is the month the Nash. <laughs> Welcome to the Let Me Stretch You Out Show. Welcome to the Let Me Stress You Out Show. Out Show. Out Show. Out Show. Out show. show out. Come on. Show out. Come on. I say, Welcome to the Let Me Stress You Out Show. Welcome to the Let Me Stress You Out Show. Out Show. Out Show. What up, Angela? Like a true boo. Welcome to the Let Me Stress You. Welcome to the Let Me Stress You Out Show. Y'all got a type out show. Welcome to the Let Me Stress You Out Show. What up, Nicky Swain? Welcome to the Let Me Stress You Out Show. What up, Brandon Beverly? Welcome to the Let Me Stress You Out Show. What up, Amy Ross? Welcome to the Let Me Stress You Out Show. What up, Big Boy Shaw? Welcome to the Let me stress you out, so let me introduce me. I'm Boogie B, and I'm the roast king. Let me stress you out post quarantine. All y'all stocked up on toilet paper. I'ma come through with New Orleans flavor. I, I forgot the rest. <laughs> Dominique Lee coming in, soldier. Joe Rambo putting green in my pack like my team Rambo. My team. Damn, and the beat dropped on this one. Oh, well, it's a little off key today, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, Dominique Lee? What's happening, Leanna Minnis? Today is your anniversary, yeah. Maybe you and him. It's Leanna Minnis. Anniversary today. What anniversary is it? It's your anniversary, yeah. Maybe you and me. What's happening, Charlotte? Yeah, what's happening, Queen Nana Jackson Brown? Lord, that's a lot of names for one profile from Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas. Yeah, where did I end up? Damn, this is the Let Me Stress You Out show. Sorry if you just stumbled up on it, but this is the live is live on live. There's no live or live. Like this live go hard, go fast, and go for an hour, and people don't even miss it. And they come every day and have been coming here every day since the beginning of the inf- uh, pandemic. I started this two years ago today and still doing it in my boogie boogies, boogie bros and boogie bi is still rocking with me. Amen. Amen. Thank you for stopping in on YouTube, though. I appreciate you. Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me stress you out, Black Trivia question first. Whoever get the part right, and get it in the comments first. Gets, uh, I mean, whoever gets the question right gets the part at the end of the day, end in the end of the week. Ugh. Whoever gets the point in the game gets the question right in the game, gets the part, and at the end of the week, whoever have most part wins the game. Okay. Oh, that was so hard to say. What's happening, Dominique Lee? Yeah, thank you for coming, though. Angela, I know. I'm stressed, too. Lord, Amy Ross with the sauce. What's up, baby? Holding it down from New Orleans like we always do. What's up, Miss Virgie? Or oh, Virgie Chaffin Jr. Oh, that's Mr. Oh, it's Vir- Virgie L. Chaffin Jr. Virgie. Let me tell you something, Virgie. I got turned on because of the history that keeps us hip to the... I'm glad you said that, Virgie, because I'm about to give you a black trivia question. So all y'all who like the history, who say you like the history, y'all supposed to get these questions right. Put it in the comments first, and you win the part, and whoever have the most points at the end of the week wins the game. That's how it's going, Rico Brown from out of town. What's up, Bonnie Melly, baby? What's happening? Sharana Shanks. I'm glad you made it, baby. I'm all good. It's all good. <laughs> we got to just push through it some days. Some days you got to just go, 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 go. What's happening, Ashley O'Brien? What's up, Joe Abuku? Brought out from Nigeria. Thank you so much for coming. Now, let me hit y'all with this. Let me stress you out. 
black trivia question of the day. If you black, you're supposed to know this. Now, I don't give a damn for you from Chicago, wherever you're from. You're supposed to know certain things. What's up, Marley? Harley? Harley Hendrix, Double H. What's up, Mary Green? Holding it down from New Orleans, as we always do. You already know. What's up, and Carlita Jeffrey? I mean, I keep calling you Carlita, girl. Your name is Carista. What is it? Car, Cartis, Cartisa, Cartisa, <laughs> Cartisa is in the building. What's up, Danielle? We don't. What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome y'all to the Let Me Stretch You Out show. Y'all already know how I go. I am your host with the most comedian, Boogie B, the New Orleans representative, aka the Mouth of the South, aka Mr. Come here, let me stress you out with this New Orleans in history. What's happening, Kathy? Oh, Kathy, hold up. I'm glad you're in here. What's up, Ashley Card? How you doing, my baby? What's up? What's up, Char Miller Foreman from Alexandria? Oh, what's up, old country girl? <laughs> Alexandria in the building. What's happening? I'm so glad you made it. Hold on, Dominique. Let's get it going. Let's ask y'all this question. Whoever gets the right answer first in the comments, wins the perm. My vice president is keeping track of who all you get get perks every day and she adds them up total at the end of the week wins the game. And you'll win a prize from yours truly. What's up Robin Harris? Robin Guathy Harris. Robin oh Robin Harris next. What's that Robin Harris? You're a comedian. Go ahead, stress out stress me out, Boog. Robin Gwyneth Harris. Girl, you got the same name like Robin Harris. Gwalauti, Gwal what, what that is? Gwatni? Lord, what kind of middle name is that? What's up, uh, Char Miller? You ready, baby? Now, get your keyboards up and type the answer in. Whoever get it in first. Now, remember that I'm watching Facebook and YouTube comments on my feed right here. Y'all are only watching whichever one platform you are on. But this is streaming live on Facebook and YouTube at this current time. So I'm watching two sets of comments. Go through the comments on my end. So whoever get it right on my end gets the part, no doubt. What's happening, Sheila? Or oh, Sheila Anderson say, you know you tickle me. Please don't stress me out. <laughs> Hey, you're so crazy, man. I'm now, I would never stretch out. You will do no wrong to nobody. What's that? And then Charmilla. Yeah, most of my boogers don't do no wrong. Ain't no reason for them to be stressed out. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> no more than life. What's that? And then Amy Ross with the sauce, baby. Now, here's the question. Everybody in here heard of living singles, right? We are living a single. Ooh, the lady got a girl. I'm glad I got my girl. Y'all remember that show? <laughs> oh, gosh. Everybody's a fan of living singles, but I bet y'all don't know nothing about living singles, though. What's up, Lynette? Early Andrew, what school did you attend? Well, hold on, hold on. Let me finish this question first. Where did Sinclair, you remember Sinclair? Where did Sinclair move from in Living Single? Where was, because you know she was Khadija cousin. Now, where did she move in from? Because Khadija don't need you. Y'all remember that episode? <laughs> Where did Sinclair move in from in the movie Living Single? Where was she living at before she started living single? Oh, Charlotte Queen, Nana Jackson Brown said New Jersey. Angela Clark said Chicago. Angela Arthur Danielle said Cleveland, Ohio. Let me see if anybody came with that. Let me see what, what both answers come through through this thing right quick. Y'all trying to Google it, but somebody going to get it right before you come with that answer. Omaha, Philly, Washington. They came out in what movie? <laughs> oh, Lord, you totally throw it off right now. Let me see. Some of them say Jersey, Chicago, Philly. I done seen everywhere. Joe put Tim Buck, too. Joe, you never watched Living Single? You're a young boy. You might not have ever seen it. She lived where Mary Poppins live. I don't know where Mary Poppins is. I know where the Mary Poppins at in New Orleans. <laughs> What's that, Kathy Wooden? 
must have the country that child was naive. Must have been the country that child was naive. Julius Lates. Julius Yates says Atlanta. Gene Raby Daniel says New York. Okay. I see y'all coming with some answers, but I don't see no right answers. Let me see. Let me see. Jimmy Gibson, which Jimmy said she came from Philly. I'll let this one pass, Joe Buku said. He don't know that ass at all. All right. Well, is nobody going to get it right? Let me see. You got to push. You got to push it till you get it right. Push. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nobody gonna get this one right. Let me ask another one then. Hold on, let me see. Virginia, Philly. Which city and state did Sinclair move from in Living Single? Can't Google that one. Huh? What's the DC? Is not the correct answer. Sorry, Monique, that's where you from. <laughs> Monique just tried to put a place where she from. She don't give a damn where Sinclair was from. You. Let me see. Connecticut, no uh Shawana Shanks. If that's what Khan is, the answer is wrong. Tina Ronnie, what's happening? Irvin Ur, 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 Earl Irvin Earl. Earl or Irvin, your damn answer is London. Now you know damn well Sinclair from Living Single wasn't from no damn London. What the hell? She would have come in that motherfucker with an accent or something. No, she ain't come from no damn London, boy. Oh, uh, now you down bad for saying some Sinclair from Living Single was from London. Lord, Latoya Batia, what's happening, baby? Yeah, Earl uh, talking about damn Sinclair from Living Single was from uh 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 London. No, it ain't no damn London. Shawana Shanks finally put the correct answer in, but you're missing the city. It's the city, city, city that we missing, missing, missing. I see Shawana Shanks came with it first, and then I see uh, 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 Queen Nana Jackson Brown came with it first, but y'all missing a part of the answer. Uh, Dominique Lee says New York. No. Monique Howard in New York, no. Dominique Lee says, Dominique, you just guessed. No. Let me see. Cleveland, Kathy would have said, no. Bonnie Miller said, bam, bam, boogie. We don't know this one. Well, my vice president done cooked up one on y'all ass. Y'all can't get it right. Y'all got to get the city and state. Read the question. It's meant at the bottom. I see the right answer. Thank you so much. Close, but all right. Charlotte said as many apples. Minneapolis. Oh, 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 yeah. I got to put the city and state together. So Charlotte got the sit got the state first and then the city second. So yeah, I think Charlotte got it. Yeah, Charlotte came right back with us real quick. Charlotte, uh Queen Nana, Jackson Brown got Minneapolis and Minnesota before y'all did. Damn, Amy Ross put St. Paul, Minnesota. That wasn't it. Uh let me see. Yep, Charlotte Jackson Brown, you got the question right. The let me stress you out black trivia question of the day was what? City and state. Did Sinclair move in from in living single? She moved in from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Some of y'all had it right, but you failed to adhere to the question <laughs> completely. What's happening, Carmela? Yay. Well, <laughs> congratulations to Charlotte. Queen Nana then came through and got the first baby. You gotta come on Instagram and then you gotta come every day in order to get the most points. At the end of the week, I'm giving announcing the winner. Whoever had the most points at the end of the week is going to get a prize from the Let Me Stress You Out show. What's happening, Lenny? Andrew Erdy? Well, there you go. Okay. Now, let me ask y'all a question. Now, this is just an ultimate ultimatum. Well, y'all can pick whichever one you want. It don't matter to me. Ain't nobody judging you. You just pick and just know that it is uh, Hunch Day Wednesday. Wait, no, it's Tuesday. <laughs> it ain't Wednesday, Wednesday. It's Tuesday, August the 4th, ladies and gentlemen. It's a terrific Tuesday. It's a terrific two-piece Tuesday. Go get your two-piece. A lot of people like to say Taco Tuesday, but I'm not that fine of tacos. Two-piece Tuesday, I call it. 
Go get your two piece or go give out a two piece. Boop, boop. <laughs> Body Miller, what's happening, baby? Thank you for putting us out of our misery, Charlotte. <laughs> Body Miller just said they weren't going to never get that question right. I'll be trying to get some a little harder, some a little easier, but that one was very, very hard, I see. When a smart map was happening, baby, let me stress you out right fast. <laughs> Call <it. laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the ultimate ultimatum, ladies and gentlemen, type in which one you would pick. If you have no other choice, would you rather have bad sex from your partner or bad oral sex from your partner? Bad penetration sex or bad oral sex? Which one would you prefer? Now, ideally, I would prefer neither one of these. I would prefer both of them to be good. But which one would you pick if you had no other choice but make one of them terrible and the other one okay? The other one good, one good, one bad. You either going to take the oral good or the oral bad. Which one you going to take? Bad sex versus bad oral. Which one would you just rather have to live, to have, to hold? Charlotte Queen Nana says she would rather have the bad sex, but you got to eat that cat right. You can't play around when you go down. That's what she said. Nikki Swain said she would rather have bad penetration because if you're going down, you got to do it right, baby. You can't. She would rather you have can't stick and stick than can't lick and lick. That's basically what she's saying. Ashley O'Brien said bad oral. I could live. I couldn't live with bad dingoling. She can't live with the bad bird, ladies and gentlemen. That bad bird gotta fly away <laughs> from Ashley. Ashley says she if one of them gonna be bad, it better not be that bird on her end. Bonnie Miller said, "Damn, question had me sweating. I know that's a hard one. Which one would you take, bad oral fellas or bad sex period?" Which would you rather have, poor coochie quality or poor head quality? Which one would you rather have? Vice President said, bad orals. That deal ain't better be what it's supposed to be. Ashley Carter, which one you picking? Would you rather have bad sex or bad oral? Yeah. Ashley said, I can I can play with my own clit. I can't give myself some penis. Whoa. Shawana Shanks said she would rather have bad intercourse. Shawana, you a whole lesbian. I know you did. I know you would rather have bad intercourse. Because you could just, all y'all doing is over there just licking and looing anyway. Y'all just over there crunching on cats. Y'all some y'all the cat crunching community. Y'all over there. You know that got to be good for y'all. Shit. I know you would rather have bad bad penetration than bad oral. Um, let me see. Or, or what the girl? I th almost thought your name was oral for a minute. Your name is Oralia. Oralia Tolliver is picking bad oral. Oralia don't want that oral from you. She wants the meat. She says she would rather have the good meat than the good eat. <laughs> oh. Oh, wait a minute. What Brandon said? Not the cactus bush. Hold on. Lynette said both will stress you out. They both will, Lynette. That's why this is the ultimate ultimatum. Sometimes life don't give you two good things to choose from. One be good and one be bad. Or one be good and one be good. And you got to choose to lose one of them. So this is the ultimate ultimatum where you either going to choose the person to have to hold to love, to love do your part, who either gives you bad sexual uh, 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 um, penis intercourse, whatever coochie deal, do whatever you're sticking in that thing, intercourse or a bad oral. Which one would you prefer, the bad oral or the bad intercourse? Oral Leah says, Yes, good meat than the good eat. Yeah, you rather the good meat than the good eat. That good eat ain't gonna satisfy you, huh? Okay, all right. Joe Buku said, For a guy can hardly be bad sex once the lady is lubricated. Hey, Joe, bitch, hey, uh, trust me, I've been there. Joe, there's some bad coochies out here. They are amongst us, blending in with the rest of the vaginas. There's a bunch of coochies out here that ain't worth a damn. 
and she know it, and she walking around fake jaking like it's good. I, I don't know who it is specifically, but I know they are they exist because I've had one or two in my day. So would I rather have bad sex or bad oral? I done had both bad before. I done had bad sex before, which I don't want to experience again. And I done had bad oral before, which I definitely don't want to experience again. Joe said bad oral is with teeth or involve hurting a ding -a Yeah, that's true, Joe. When they give bad oral to us, they be chewing you up, pulling you too hard. Jacking you, beating you, all kind of stuff they be doing down there. They think they're doing it right. It ain't wet enough, mouth driving in the motherfucker. They trying to suck your balls through your balls. You like, yeah, ah, that's painful. You know, nobody wants you to keep doing the war if that's how you're going to be doing it. You, eating, you sucking that nigga like a chicken bone. You know how you tell the chicken when you eating it? I, I, she eating that motherfucker like a drumstick. You like, baby, that's not what you're supposed to be doing with no bird. You chewing my shit up. I, I would have been told you to stop, but I was trying to go with it because I thought you was gonna. I thought you knew what you was doing. I thought you was gonna calm down with it. And well, I'll tell you, the girl give me some air one time. I had my booty off the mattress. I was like, ah, shit. Ooh, ah, every time she went up, I went up like ah, because she was scaving and jacking and got her mouth pulling it up. I'm like, your mouth is, ah, your teeth is pulling my, I had to bring my body up off the ground so she'll hurry up and come back down on it, baby, get down on it. Ooh, that thing was hurting so bad. I tried to hang in there too, body mail, and I tried to hang. I tried to push through. Her mouth was dry, her teeth were sharp. It was a whole a mess. And she was pulling it like it was good too. Uh, 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 you know how they try to, man, I'm like, ah, every time she went up, I'm like, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, that motherfucker was about to scratch all I got in the shower. My bird was on fire. I was like, ah, that water got on my, I was like, ah, whoo. They ended up scratch me, scrape me, and peel me. I was like, no, you know what? Oh, I don't want no bad oil. I definitely don't want no bad sex. If I had to pick one to be bad, Oh, Robin, this is a tough one for me, man. Which one did you pick, Robin? Booze? 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 What's happening, baby? Which one did you pick? Yeah, Jacqueline Nelson said a gummy worm. <laughs> Brady Beverly said gator mouth. <laughs> Damn, sharp teeth and dry mouth. That's the horriblest head you can ever get. I don't care if you're a man or a woman you're doing it on. If you got a dry mouth and some sharp teeth, that's going to be a problem. And it was a problem for me when I had some bad oral. I do not want to experience no shit like that again. And I had some old terrible vagina too. It was awful. It wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth going back to it. none of that shit. I done had some pretty bad ones. Not that smell bad. It just wasn't good. The performance was poor. The desire was, I mean, the willingness to try different shit was low. It could be all type of shit that make it bad. If they don't want to do shit, that makes it bad. I don't want to. I, I, I can't put my legs up like that. Uh uh, my legs don't go like that. Why you gotta just put them down? All that, that makes it bad. Even though I might be in something that feel decent, but the way you act can make it trash. So that's what could consist of bad sex. And y'all know what bad oral is. Which one would you rather? have in your life. Uh, that bad oil will kill you. Um, I just don't do one to me. Just don't do oral to me. I'd rather have no oral than bad oral. Just give me the bad oral. I could do without it. I could do it all getting my bird sucked. I could, I'm all right. I, I put, 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 it, put it in the cat. I would rather it had some good coochie than some good head. I'll take some, uh, 
Yeah, I could go without her head too, Ashley. Ashley said she could go without her head. She can't go without that ding a -ling. I can't go without that cat. I could go without head. If I get head, I just want more cat. Just want cat anyway. So you be there suck me up good, but that coochie trash. I'll be like, nah, I'm out of here. And I mean, man, I'm unsatisfied because I ain't really want no head no way. You done gave me some head. It was good, but now I need some coochie. And you ain't got nothing but some trash right there. I don't want that. <laughs> you got that stepped on coochie. That coochie water whip, baby, is whipped all through the community. I don't want that. Now, I don't want, I would rather have bad oral than bad sex because I could just do without the oral. Nah, I ain't gotta, I ain't gotta fight through that. I could just get some good coochie. You got good coochie without good, there's a lot of girls don't suck no dingley nowadays. There's a lot of them. I hate to say it, but it is. And I could do without it. I, I could take one of them. Yeah. And that real like an exam score, willingness to perform. That is definitely a score. He cannot stand alone, Vice President said. Some of them can. A lot of these ladies pick, they would take bad penetration. Shawana can live without the oral. I mean, live without the penetration. Uh, it was a couple of y'all that could live without the penetration. Y'all could just live on coochie eating. Yeah, y'all might well. Some of y'all be right on cusp of lesbian. Y'all would rather have that coochie eat. Much rather have that coochie eat than the ding in it. <laughs> uh, that's okay, too, though. Shit. I ain't judging you. Ain't no right or wrong answer. It's the ultimate ultimatum. Whichever one you picked is the one you picked. I just wanted to see where y'all head was at with it. Latanya, what's up, baby? Either way, I'm leaving or he's going. <laughs> Tanya said it with either one of these. She, she out of there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Joe Abuku said not sucking ding -a -ling should be a hate crime. Oh, Joe. Joe said he don't play that. Yeah, Joe said he don't play all that. You got to do both. What's up, Nicky West, baby? Hey, nah. Hey, nah, nah, nah. What's happening, Latanya? What up, Shawana Shanks? You a lesbian. This old guy, y'all already know what you was going to pick. You pick bad penetration because y'all don't really, y'all just be having that damn, that little old fake ding -a stick up in your jiggy jug, jiggy jug, vibrate. Y'all can do without that. Y'all just want that coochie snack, though. Anyways, Nikki West, ultimate ultimatum, bad sex or bad oral. I would go with bad oral because I need good sex. I could do without. I could do without good oral. I could do without it if I had to. I don't want to. I do not want to. If I had to, if I had no other choice, baby, it gotta be a. You about to be about, must be about to put a block on the uh, uh, on the mouth of the coochie or something for me not to get it. I don't know how it's gonna happen like that, but if I had to choose, if I had to choose, I would take bad all. Now, this 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 relationship conundrum that my own girl is going through is this. My boogie inbox me, Nikki West. LK, hold up, LK. My hold up, hold up, Bonnie Melly. Yeah. No, don't worry about what the lesbians over there doing. They doing that little poking, poke, juggy, jug, licking, lick, sticky, stick with the thing, poking it up in there, whatever. Um, but let me tell you what's going on in these relationships these days, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if y'all heard of this, but it's a technology out called sharing your location. Yeah, I, most some of y'all may not have heard of this, but you have to have an iPhone, and you share your location with whoever has an iPhone that you so shall choose. You see what I'm saying? So you just letting them basically know where you at at all times. You just turn your location on on your phone and share your location. I believe that's how that works. I got an Android myself, but hey, you know what? To each his own. Yeah, judge your own. Don't judge me. Anybody? Oh, thank y'all so much for hitting y'all badges and stars. I got to tell y'all, y'all been doing so good. Cop some stars today, ladies and gentlemen. Don't leave me hanging. Hit me with a little something, something for the people who's still in here, who still fuck with me. What's happening, Charlotte? Yeah, I'm glad you're in here, baby. Yeah. 
Location on is the question. Don't count us out. Thank you, Shawana Shanks. I ain't never counting y'all, baby. It's apps for Android too. LMAO, y'all can get stuck too. Okay, well, on it comes on the iPhone where you can locate, you can share your location from phone to phone to phone to phone to phone, right? So somebody can just watch everywhere you go. Now, my boogie wants to know what to do that she's in love with her man. They've been together for a year and a half. They're doing good. All of a sudden, they, uh, she starts talking about moving in with him or whatever, or they're moving in together. He said he insists that she turn her, share her locations before they ever move in together. What should she do? Should she share the locations with him? He insisted that she share her location before they go any further throughout the relationship. Yeah. On all smartphone apps, and I don't know about that. I don't know about no sharing no location on no Android. It's, if y'all try, when y'all try to share y'all location with me, iPhone users, it don't work. I don't be knowing where the hell yet. They be sharing their location with me. I be like, what the fuck is this? It don't even open in Google Maps. <laughs> oh, Joe Buku says she could turn it on fast. Carolyn said, what's happening? What's up, lady? Can you late, but you're right on time with them rhyme. Ashley O'Brien says she turned her location on. If her old man insisted that she turn it on. That's cool. Okay, Bonnie Mellon said he is sharing his location. No, he said share your location. Don't worry about his location. He asked you to turn your location on so he can know where you at. Yeah, Bonnie Mellon said is he sharing his location? Nope, you sharing yours. Blaine said a share for a share. You share yours, he share his. Amy Ross with the songs, don't know what it is. I, did, I say the same thing. I don't know what that, I don't know what no share, no location mean. I was like, well, I just share it with you with my mouth. <laughs> yeah, I can't share it with you with no phone. I don't know what that is. Latoya Muda said, I'd have to tell him that I insist that he kisses the darkest part of my natural black ass. <laughs> <laughs> Not the natural black ass. <laughs> Life 360, never heard of it. Where's Ann and Jacqueline? Jacqueline said, no, I'm not. She's not turning her location on for nobody. Woo, Frederica said, I'm so late, but you're so right on time for this rhyme. Now, Sharada Shanks said, oh, Bonnie Mellon said, nope, she ain't turning her location on. And he ain't turning his location on. Yeah, Nikki West, what you doing? You turning your location on for your man because he asked you to or what? Carolyn Lady K. Brown said, a share for a share. You share your shit, I share my shit. That's how we going to do it. Ashley said, if I'm not, I'm not, if he's not. Oh, oh so I, oh, Ashley is all for the share location if they both share. But she ain't sharing her shit without him sharing his shit. Oh, okay, so you with it, but it's conditions involved, I see. <clears throat> Ain't nobody said nothing about him turning his location on. I said, what would you do if your mate insisted that you share your location? Come on, China, China. What's happening? You so happy you found me on TikTok? Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you found me too, China, China. Oh, you missed the, you missed the, let me show you our black trivia question. You can catch it on Instagram, though. I'm going to do an Instagram. I'm going to start this whole show over again on Instagram to catch the replay for the people who don't be watching on both. Because this is the Let Me Stress You Out show. The live is live on live. I'm here five days a week standing right in this motherfucker with this little background right here. The microphone remind y'all of a ding -ling, so y'all keep on coming back. I already know. I know how y'all ladies be looking at it. See, the, the dudes, we look at, oh, he got a microphone right there. The girl's like, oh, girl, that microphone look like a bird. What's happening, Ronald D. Williams? I already know. Blaze said it's a hard note. You not sharing your location with your man? Wow. He said share that location before y'all can move any further. Y'all done been together for a year and a half. 
LK Earth said, what's happening, baby? You up under all that laughing and kiki in, but what you gonna do? Morgan Sterling, you're late, but you're right on time for this rhyme, baby. Which one you doing? You turning your location on for your man or no? Chase Cuzzo, my cousin Chase Jackson in the building. What's happening, cousin Chase? Hey, cuz, what if your old lady tell you that you need to share your location on your phone before y'all move any further in the relationship? Y'all been together for a year and a half. What's your next move? Oh, or, or, or Leah, or Leah. Or Leah says, I don't mind sharing the location. I don't have nothing to hide. Besides, if you want to be bad, there will always be a way. Hey, oh, you're so good. You're such a good lady. You're going to share that live with him. I mean, you're going to share that location with him. Share that live, too. Share the live, ladies and gentlemen. Click that arrow, share it to your partners so they can come watch what we watching and it can be all good. You feel what I'm saying? What's that now, Aurelia? Aurelia says she don't mind sharing her location with her old man. If he tell her to share that location, she going to drop the pen, baby. She going to drop the pen like niggas in the pen drop the soap. What's that now? Uh, Ronald D. Williams said you just working. Man, quit that funk ass job. <laughs> They go, they working you like a dog over there. <laughs> What's happening, Ashley? Ashley said, I'll be tracking him whether he knows it or not. Might as well. Lord have mercy. See, Ashley, when them young girls, them young girls know about all that shit, location, tracking shit, folly around, all that shit. Yeah. China China says she ain't sharing no location. What the fuck is he? My probation officer? You is not my probation officer, sir. I am not turning my location and giving it to you or whatever because we've been together for no year and a half. So what? A year and a half. I'm not turning no location on you. If you don't trust me, you don't trust me. As Nicola said, you're looking amazingly amazing, yummy, yummy, sexy, Mr. Boogie. Happy Tasty Tuesday. Looking like a chocolate ball. Ooh! Ashley Carter coming in and flirting, boy. Oh, you be wanting that bird, don't you? Too bad you live in Quitman, Mississippi. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to no, to no Quitman, Mississippi. I don't even know where that is on the map. You're going to have to catch me in a major city, baby. I cannot be traveling around to no Mississippi, boo. I'm sorry. I won't be seeing you, but I'm sure it's a nigga that looks similar to me somewhere near you. He might not be funny like me, but he might look similar to me. You go find him, Ashley Carter. He right around your way. He might have a dick tucked in his sock like I do. <laughs> you never know what you can find. You just have to commit yourself to looking, okay? What's happening, Elke? Elke, Elke said, Boogie, not the bird. I call that nigga like a bird because it'll fly south for the winter. <laughs> My nigga nigga fly south for the winner, baby. You got to be the winner. You see what I'm saying? It's so many ways that I can explain this shit to y'all. I call y'all vagina. I call it a cat because cats eat birds. Come on now. Think about it. Think about it. It's, it all makes sense if you think about it. <laughs> cat bird relations. That's all we got to tell y'all about. But they say they can tell you about the birds and the bees. Yeah. I tell you about the birds and the cats. What's happening in China? China, period. Boogie, what you wearing? Oh, hold on, Frederica. Calm down now. Ain't no sweatpants dingling print today, baby. That's enough of that. You done gone too far. Every day you come in here trying to look at my dinner lean package, friend. Every day you come in here like, girl, look if he got them sweatpants on, girl. He ain't got on no drawers, girl. Sure enough. Yeah, y'all don't be wearing none. I ain't wearing none either. Dick print busting. So what? Yeah, we ain't about to start playing the game with y'all. Yeah. Hey, Jimmy Ruffley. Where's Jimmy? Sweatpants, no draws. Fuck it. Tw all 22. All 22. Sweatpants, no draws. Let that dingling strain on them. Let them eyeball it. I don't give a fuck. They eyeballing it. Bird watchers, I like to call them. So they see a sweatpants. Then they go with the binoculars. Girl, look up. Girl. And as soon as they see a good one, girl, 
know, you see them running in. They ain't going to do nothing with it. They just want to look nasty. Help us. What's happening, Yolanda? Yeah. Oh, you're late, but you're right on time for this run. Hold on. Let me hit my teeth. Ooh, that beat just kicked in on me. Ooh, 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 ooh. They want boogie beat. They want boogie beat. They want boogie. Ooh! What's happening, Joe Buku? Joe Buku said climate change affecting dingling size. Deal with it. <laughs> Joe Buku said he blamed climate change for the small penises that's around. Jacqueline Nelson, everything that looks good ain't good. That's a damn, that's the truth. Now, which one would y'all take? If your man told you, hey, turn your location on on your phone. I need your location. I need your whereabouts. Well, you say, well, turn your shit on. You don't want to turn your location. Why you asking me to turn my location on? For what? Like, you ain't turning yours on. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but what if your man strictly said, or your woman strictly said, turn your location on? Ask Nick Carter, if I tell you to turn your location on, is you turning it on? And I ain't giving you a damn location with mine. You go, I'm going to have your location, and you ain't going to have mine at all times. Which one? What you going to do? Is you turning it on or no? Yes, yeah, Ryder Shane say inside of the cheeks, sweating. Damn right. We don't need to move in together anyways, Ashley O'Brien said. What's up, Bonnie Miller said, keep your own place. Do not move in with him. Damn. Ooh. Well, I guess they told my book yet. They say don't move in with him. If he wants you to turn your location on, now never mind the fact that they said they will turn their location on, but they telling you don't move in with him. <laughs> oh, Frederica said, I'll be happily single. Okay. Well, Ashley Carter said, yes, sir, Mr. Boogie, I'll turn my location on. Well, we already know your location pertinent to Mississippi. It's pertinent to the country where I ain't going. <laughs> Jimmy Rubin said, we sharing locations over here. Oh, which Jimmy said, if I ask you to turn your, your location on, turn it on. He don't want to hear your excuses. Ashley talking about we ain't moving together then. If I got to turn my own location on, I ain't giving you I ain't giving you my location. I ain't sharing my location with you if I got to if I got to do all that. If I got to do all that, that's how they doing. As long as it's we, no problem. Jimmy Ruffley, Vice President said both parties want their location turned on. Yeah, Bonnie Mallet, Lavin and Kiki, in, and so is Morgan Sterling. Morgan, what the hell are y'all laughing at? Ain't nobody sharing no locations out here. <laughs> Julius Yates said whoever pays the bills gets to say who turns their location on or off. Yeah, well, I guess y'all heard that. <clears throat> mm mm. Oh, Lord. Frederica said, I don't need no toys. I can have a fuck buddy. You always keep one of those, sir. Look at Frederica, old nasty ass. Frederica said she'd be single, but she'll be out getting that dingling anyway. What's happening, DJ Williams, baby? You're late, but you're right on time for this ride. Jimmy Robinson said, we is the key word. Okay. My book, my book aunt said that her old man that she been with for a year and a half said she need to turn her location on before they move in together or before they can progress in the relationship. She wants to know from y'all what she should do. Oh, Morgan Stanley, you from Quitman? Well, God damn it, we're Quitman on in the... Y'all the first two people I ever met from Quitman, Mississippi. Lord have mercy. Oh, 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 oh. Ashley Carter is actually from Shoe Buddha, Mississippi. From the Shoe of the Buddha. <laughs> Shoe Buddha, Mississippi country ass girl. 
<laughs> that's so funny, man. Y'all from the country of the country, Quitman, Mississippi. And that's why I love the internet, because I get to talk to people from Quitman and Shoe Buddha and shit. Who the hell, where else I'm going to find y'all at? Anyways, Frederica said, Jimmy, or oh, Frederica just going to be single. She said she's going to break up with you if she ins if you insist that she turn her locate share a location with you. Yeah, Morgan Sterling. If your man insisted that you share your location with him, would you move forward and turn everything on and just stay in a happy relationship or no? Yeah. It's the same school district or oh, shoot Buddha in the same. <laughs> Morgan Sterling says shoot Buddha, Mississippi, and Quit Quitman, Mississippi is in the same school district. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, Joe Buku said that's on a monitoring bracelet. Damn, Joe. Joe be putting them. See, that's what's wrong with the Nigerian dudes. Them Nigerian dudes will put that shackle on y'all ass. Y'all think y'all just gonna get that big Nigerian man dingo dick? No. You ain't getting just that. You about to get that plus the ankle bracelet that or the ankle monitor that go with it. When you mess with the Nigerian men, they don't play that. They tell you to turn your location on. You got to turn it on. That's part blank period when you mess with them Nigerians. What's happening, Stephanie Mackey? Ask my partner, Joe Buku, is he playing? What's up, Bonnie Melly? Bonnie Melly said, what is his purpose for requiring her to share her location? Huh? His purpose is so he can know where she at at all times before they get into a relationship. Yeah, before they go any further in their relationship. They'd have been together for a year and a half. Frederica said, if Nigerian men be crazy, I'm going to put it on the dog. Oh, Lord. Frederica said, Joe, she's going to take your little tracking device and put it on the dog. It's going to be in the backyard all day, every day. What's that, Miss Stephanie? You share your location with your man if he tell you to? Fellas, Joe Buku, if your old lady tell you to turn your location on, how about that, my Nigerian brother? What if your old lady say, turn your location on, and she ain't turning her shit on? Which one would you, would you push through and just turn it on, or what? Amy said, he'd be like, so how you made all of them stops? In one hour. Stephanie said, if he paying my mortgage, hell yeah. So Stephanie said, you can turn you, you can share, she will share her location with you if you're paying the mortgage, but you don't have to share your shit. You can, you know, you paying the mortgage, she, you said turn it on, she'll turn it on, share it with you, whatever you need, as long as you paying what you're supposed to be paying. Yep. Vice President said, my ex used to track my mileage. Yeah, buddy. Woo. Yeah, it's getting a little stalkery around here. It's getting a little stalkery. It's a stalkery vibe in the air when you talk about sharing locations, ladies and gentlemen. That's why when it comes to WWBBD, what would I do if my lady said, turn your location on? I'm not doing it, number one, because I got an Android. Ain't no turning no locations on. You you got an iPhone. I got an Android. Ain't no sham between us. No way. You're going to have to trust me. If I do got an iPhone, I still ain't sharing it with you. I Unless you need it for a particular, a particular purpose. Unless, I, unless I'm telling you I'm going into the woods or some shit. Or I'm going on rock climbing a mountain or some crazy shit. Then I'm going to share my location with you. You can track me all around the mountain. But ain't no you going to insist that I turn my share my location with you. You insist. What, what, what did the nigga say in uh, America? Uh, American gangster, he said, see, that's the language I be talking about. You insist. You must insist. See, uh, uh, I don't do well with all that. He told what he told Frank Lucas, you insist. You infringement? Come on, now, no. You're talking crazy. I'm not about to damn 
turn no location on for your ass. What the hell I look like? I'm a whole grown man. I turn no damn location on for you. Shit, what the hell are you asking me for? The Why even you asking me that? Now I'm questioning the whole relationship. You talking about you need to track me. What the hell you what you been so this is what you've been thinking about the whole relationship. We done been together for a year and a half. You've been thinking the whole year and a half. Let me get this nigga. If he don't turn share that location, we breaking up. Where we breaking up then? Cause I ain't sharing a damn thing. What the hell? What type of woman let, let, let what type of man let a woman track him around the world? Put up turn your location on. Turn your location on. One of the most sucker duck ass. Uh, 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 one of the most sucker duck ass impact ass niggas. One of the more impact ass niggas to do it. But not no alpha, baby. You ain't gonna tell me to turn no location on. I don't give a damn what you need to fuck. When I'm married, location's gonna be on for safety reasons. I go with well, your location to be on. My shit ain't gonna be on. I, I, if, I'm, if I'm gone, I'm gone. Yeah, ain't, ain't gonna be no damn location on. No, I don't care. Married, gather, none of that shit. It don't matter. You're supposed to have a level of trust for each other in a relationship that you don't need. That is the part, ladies and gentlemen, that y'all keep missing, is that you should not need, when you say I insist that you share your location, I insist is a problem. When you insist that somebody share a location, that is like you have some type of ulterior motive. That is a hard no for me. Yeah, and ladies, when it comes to you sharing your your location with your man, if you want to, and you feel safe, like that, that will make you feel safe, that you turn your location on, well, then do that. Share your location 24-7 with your man, because that's what women do. Women are naturally more fragile, delicate, you know, they need more attention, you know, they need somebody to rescue them and all that other shit. I don't need that shit. I'm all right. I can figure out my location on my own. I'm a grown damn man. Shit. What's that, Jimmy Ruffley? You know, things be different when it comes to men and women. So maybe y'all might do it. Share your location with your mate because they insist on it. I, but I ain't. It ain't no, no possibility. It ain't zero possibility. Not zero possibility. Y'all can share y'all shit, but you don't have to now. Remember, this is a relationship, not a dictatorship. So when you're in a relationship and your mate asks you, they says to you that they insist that you share your location, that is dictation. And that is a sign of of uh, some type of insecurity that could, that could smile down into a stalker situation. When y'all got niggas that need all that from you all the time, they need you to have your shit on, they demand that you have your shit on, they insist that you share your location with them, then that is a problem in your relationship. If ain't nothing wrong, what the hell you, what what the hell Nah, men get shot and, and and go to jail. That's why I like my man location. Where well, I ain't going to jail or get shot. Yeah, yeah, that ain't happening to me. That, that's happening to some of these niggas, but I don't play like that. Uh, it would be a very seldom time you catch me going. I'm dead on my jail time. That shit gone. I'm totally legit. Straight in that one, baby. You ain't got to worry about that. They take me to jail. I'm comfortable because I got bail money. I'm in there like, well, Go and put me in there. I'm gonna be out of here in the morning because I ain't doing shit and I ain't gonna do shit. Yeah, I, they try to kind of state, state see me. It's gonna be in the bag. Shit, they ain't gonna get me in no cell. What's happening, Yolanda? Yeah, maybe some of these niggas have to worry about that, but not Boogie B. Yeah, you, oh Lord, ask the car to tell me I'm hot over here, Boogie. Oh Lord, is it hot where you live? Oh, I know it's hot in mighty Mississippi, baby. It's the hottest in mighty Mississippi. I'm all right. What's happening, Frederick? Yeah, what's up, Chihuahua Shanks? Yeah, let me see. The man is a protector, so he asked for the location for safety reasons. Thank you, Joe Buku. Joe Buku said the man. It's the protector. So he asks for your location for safety reasons. You don't get to have his shit. <laughs> That's what Joe said. Joe said he got to have your shit for safety reasons and you don't get in. Now, ladies, if you're down for that, do that. Your man can rescue you, save you, you need somebody to track you, do that. 
But if your man insists, you should always raise your antennas. Why this nigga insisted that he needs this all? It should get real, hey, she could get real stalkery. She could get real stalkery and you said, you, oh, that's cute. Let's both turn ours on. He like, no, let's turn yours on. I mean, okay, because I ain't got that. Nah, I, I turn mine on. That's fine. I share my location with you. That's fine. I don't have anything to hide. Okay. Now that nigga at your job, in your bushes, at your house, in your tub, in your trunk. That nigga, you popped up on you everywhere. Soon you try to get rid of him. What's up, Federico? I'm going to send my location to my brother, not my man. Well, that's a... See, everybody ain't got no brother. Nah, shit. Bonnie Miller says there's a difference between being a protector and being a dictator. There definitely is, Bonnie Miller. And man or woman, you cannot in a relationship be a dictator. You can, but your person has to be fully on board with you doing so. If they're not, then this shit just ain't gonna work. That's all it is. Yeah, you, Morgan Stanley said I was. You said you was doing it at first, but now you're saying I'm not doing it. Well, I'm just telling you, ladies. When somebody asks you something like this without you asking them, it gets it's a little weird. It's something going on in their mind that's a little weird. The way they're thinking is a little different from what you because out of the blue, Joe man just come to you and say, "Look, we've been together for a whole year and a half. Turn your damn location on. Let me know where you at." Shit, we done been together for a year and a half. Turn your location on. You're like, all right, well, turn yours on. You're like, no, I ain't turn mine on. I turn yours on. I got to see where you at in case you need something. Well, I got to see where you at in case you need something too. No, turn yours on. I say turn your, share your location right now. Drop it. Share it. Morgan Sterling said if he do, she would, but it don't work like that sometimes. That man asking you to share your shit. Share yours. A lot of y'all said y'all would do it. A lot of y'all said y'all wouldn't, but this is a slippery slope, ladies and gentlemen. Slippery meaning that if you're on a slope and it's already slippery, you're going down for sure. You see what I'm saying? So if you start letting him dictate things like share your location without you asking him to do so, Tell your mood and say, don't be surprised when you find my phone at the bottom of Lake Poncho Train. Well, if it's at the bottom of Lake Poncho Train, ain't nobody going to find it. What's happening, Tim? Tim said, I bet if a nigga hitting you up with that good wood, I know y'all share a location, so stop stunting me. It is now, Tim, I didn't say that. Now, listen, let me tell you something, Tim. You know it's a lot of ladies with their damn location shared to their man. That's for sure. It's different when it comes to men and women. Women are more likely to do such type things for protectional purposes or for whatever reason they feel like doing it, and guys are less likely to do so. But with that being said, my boogette asked me, should she share a location because a man insisted? I say it should raise your antennas, and if, but if you want to do it, do it. Because you, you know we. But don't do it just because he say do it, because you're going to be in a world of trouble if y'all try to ever break up. You're going to be in a world of trouble because you know that's already a controlling, trying to control and behavior, and that can lead to endless problems. Thank y'all so much for coming to the Let Me Stress You Out show. I'm here five days a week. Come one hour before right now, and you can catch me in the beginning of the show tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, get the Let Me Stress You Out show live. And I'm your old comedian, Boogie B. Thank y'all so much, Boogie Bros and Boogie All my Boogie my double dips. We going over to Instagram and start this whole show over. We going to do it all again in a minute. Y'all just come on over there. Give me 10 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Let me rest. And then we're going to jump on Instagram and start the whole show over, ladies and gentlemen. This has been the Let Me Stress You Out show. I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate y'all time. I love y'all individually and as a group. Please don't forget that. Thank y'all so much for coming, man. Vice President, pack us up. We out of here.